tip is on how to infuse your own alcohol. There's such a wide variety of flavored vodkas and rums on the market today, and it's really so very easy to do yourself, and I think it's better. Whenever you're infusing, you want to start with a good quality alcohol. Today I'm making raspberry vodka, and I've got a good quality vodka here too. If you don't start with a good vodka, you're not going to end up with a good raspberry vodka either. Now, when I'm infusing, I found these decorative bottles at a gift shop and I love them because when you infuse, you leave it out at room temperature between 69 and 72 degrees is perfect. And these are kind of decorative, fun to watch and well, almost a conversation piece. My friends come over and they're like, what you got going on there? And so I tell them about my infusions, make them a cocktail and then they want to know how to make it themselves. So what I've got is two cups of vodka and I'm going to take that and pour that into my bottle. raspberries and just sort of pop them in there. And some are a little big, you might have to push them. Now, if you don't have these fancy bottles, you can use a mason jar. It all works the same. And actually, like if you were doing a pineapple infused rum, you would need something with a wider mouth anyway. Okay, and that's about one pint of fresh raspberries to two cups of vodka. Then I just take the top, put it on, give it a shake and let it sit. And depending on the type of fruit you're using will depend how long it takes to infuse. Raspberry vodka usually takes about two weeks, up to a month. Blueberries are going to take a little longer. It seems they need a month. But what you want to do is just sort of taste it along the way and you'll know when it's ready. And then you can make all sorts of wonderful cocktails with your infusions.